Okay, Leo, what should we have for dinner? Your dad should be home soon from dropping Layla off at Grandma's. <coughs> Yikes, you still have that icky cough. Maybe we should have some vegetable soup or something. No, dino nuggies. <coughs> ah, I can't stand when you guys get sick. All your germs are just everywhere. <coughs> that is so nasty. Mm -mm. Let me go ahead and disinfect. Dino Nuggies are not going to make you feel any better, buddy. So, vegetable soup or beef stew? I said I wanted Dino Nuggies. See, this is why I can't ask you for help. I'm sick, so I get what I want. I don't know who you think you're talking to like that. But that's not the way we ask for things around here. So, therefore, Mommy is going to be making some vegetable soup. Go sit your butt down somewhere. But mommy! But nothing! You want to feel better, don't you? And it's flu season! We cannot all be getting sick because of you. Okay. Matter of fact, you need to come and wash your hands because you're sneezing all over them. Leo! This is exactly why you can't be in here when mommy's cooking. How about you go sit on the couch, okay? You can cuddle up with your blankets. But I want to watch. Okay, here, you wanna try some? I know you don't like vegetables that much, but this is yummy, I promise. I like it. Good. Now let mommy finish cooking, okay? More. You'll have a whole bowl in a second. It's almost done. See, that didn't take too long, did it? Come on, let's have some food and make sure we save some for your dad too because I'm sure he's going to be hungry. You go ahead and take your seat. What do you want to drink? Apple juice, please. Okay, mommy will get that for you right now. Oh no, your cough is getting worse and worse. We might have to take you to the doctors tomorrow. If it doesn't get any better. Here, hopefully this soup can help you feel better. Let's grab you some. There you go. Nah, uh no doctor. But the doctor can help you feel better. What happened, buddy? I thought you liked the soup. I don't want it anymore. I don't feel good. Oh, okay, well, at least you ate a little bit of it. But I'm worried about the way that you're breathing. That doesn't sound right at all. Um, maybe we should try to get you to bed. Maybe you're just a little tired. I'll clean all this up later. Okay, I can't lie. I'm starting to feel a little more worried right now. Um, I don't think we've had this problem before. Mommy, it hurts. What hurts? Up here. Your chest? Your chest is hurting you? Oh, no. Okay, we're gonna have to probably get you to the doctor tonight. Oh, wait, I can't. Your dad isn't even here yet. He has the car. What are we supposed to do? Um, okay, let's see. Uh, can I get your shoes on? Where are your shoes at? Oh my gosh, Leo! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to call 911. I have no other option. Come on, baby, you're okay. Oh my goodness, okay, we're gonna have you sit down right here. Okay, honey, talk to mommy. Is it still hurting you to breathe? We're gonna get some people here to help you, okay? Keep looking at mommy, you're gonna be okay. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hi. Um, my three year old son is having trouble breathing, and I'm not exactly sure what to do. Great, right, ma'am. Fortunately, I am here to help you, but I'm gonna need some more information. Okay, anything. Firstly, what is the address of this emergency? Um, we're at twenty five Applewood House Number One. Okay, and what are you and your son's name? Um, his name is Leo. My name's Akila. Okay, Akila. Help is on the way. I'm gonna ask you a few more questions while they're headed to you. Just to get a clear picture of his condition and the situation as a whole. Okay. So, how old is Leo? He's three. And can you confirm that he is indeed conscious and breathing? Ah, uh, yes. He's conscious and breathing. Good, good. And how long has this episode been going on? 
Um, well, he's had this really bad cough for the last couple of nights. I didn't think it was anything serious. And then about 30 minutes ago, he started complaining of chest pains and he like kind of passed out. Um, I don't, I don't know. Sorry, I'm freaking out right now. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to remain calm for me. I understand how stressful a situation like this can be, but I did dispatch an ambulance to your location. Okay, how soon will they be here? They should be there within a few minutes. So is there anything that could have triggered an episode like this? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Does your son happen to have a history of asthma or anything like that? Not that we know of. Okay, that's fine. But I definitely think that's something that should be looked into. Okay, here's what I want you to do for me. I need you to keep Leo in a comfortable, upright position and encourage him to take slow, deep breaths. Leo, the nice lady on the phone, says that we need you to take a couple deep breaths, okay? Come on, breathe in with me and breathe out, okay? You're doing a great job. Help should arrive shortly. In the meantime, continue to monitor Leo's breathing and stay on the line with me. Okay, will do. Thank you. Um, matter of fact, I think I hear them outside. Hi, thank you for coming. He's over here. Leo, this nice man's here to help you, okay? You're gonna be just fine. Um, hi. I'm going to do everything we can to help you, little guy. I'm going to place this mask over your face to give you some oxygen. It might feel a little strange, but it'll help you breathe better. Okay. This feels weird. And my chest still hurts really bad. I think it would be beneficial to transport him to the hospital so the doctors can get to the root of the problem because this is definitely not normal. Is he gonna be okay? Definitely. I see this all the time. Let me go get the stretcher. Everything is going to be all right, little man. Okay, baby, mommy's gonna ride in the ambulance with you. Oh, wait, your dad's here. One second, please. I had to call the paramedics because Leo was having trouble breathing and I wasn't sure what else to do. What? Is he okay? Hopefully. His chest was hurting really bad and he like passed out for a second. And it was really scary, August. What are we waiting for? Let's go. We're probably gonna have to stay overnight. So can you just pack an overnight bag with his favorite things and meet us at the hospital? I'm gonna ride in the ambulance, okay? Okay, I'll be there as soon as possible. Okay, I'll text you. Well, it's official. Leo has been admitted into the hospital and I feel so, so bad for him. This is the room they have us in overnight and August packed a bag with some stuff that we might need and they were kind enough to even give us a bed so we could be comfortable while we're here. I just feel so bad for our little boy. We have yet to find out what actually happened. So we're just waiting to hear from the doctors. They ran a couple tests and he was really, really scared but i'm so proud of you we both are will i be here forever no you won't be here forever how are you doing buddy i feel weird well hopefully we get some answers soon i want this out of my nose i know you do it probably feels really really uncomfortable but it's helping you breathe right now so don't try to take it out or anything because that's not going to be good we have to listen to what the doctors say okay i hope the news isn't really bad just be patient We'll be out of here in no time. Your dad's right. And I know you must be sleepy after the long night we've had. And as soon as you wake up, we should be ready to go home. Well, nice to see you again. We have some results that just came in. Oh, um, okay. Oh, finally. Why don't we go over here? We found out that this baby has asthma. It's pretty severe, too. I'm glad y'all made it here. Asthma? Severe? He's going to be okay, though, right? Oh, no, this isn't good. What do we need to do to help him? He'll be just fine if y'all take the necessary precautions. Oh, of course we're gonna take the necessary precautions. Now, this has all the information you need, okay? But we're gonna start off by giving him an inhaler. And you wanna make sure to always keep it nearby. Here, let me show you how to use it. All right, so this is what his inhaler looks like. First, you're gonna take the cap off, look inside the mouthpiece, and make sure there's nothing in it. 
Shake the inhaler hard 10 to 15 times before each use. You're gonna have him breathe all the way out to try to push out as much air as he can. Place his lips around the mouthpiece so that you form a tight seal. Always make sure he's sitting upright too. As he starts to slowly breathe in through his mouth, press down on the inhaler one time and have him keep breathing slowly as deep as he can. Take the inhaler out of his mouth. He's gonna hold his breath as you slowly count to 10. This lets the medicine reach deep into his lungs. Once that's done, he's gonna breathe slowly out through his mouth. Then put the cap back on and make sure it's firmly closed. Okay, that is a lot of information, but I think we got it. And I'm really sorry for the scare y'all all had, but I'm really glad that y'all made it here. Now we gonna try our best to make sure you're as comfortable as possible here. So just let me know if you need anything, sugar. He's a pretty active kid. Even at this young of an age, will that need to change because of this? You might want to try your best to avoid anything that's too overwhelming for him. Now, they can outgrow asthma as they get older. You know him better than I do. So just heavily monitor him, alright? I don't want to see y'all back here now. Good, we will do. Because we're raising a future soccer star. Thanks again for all your help. We really appreciate it. Y'all have a good night now. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to keep this nearby. Honestly, I'm gonna just put this in our duffel bag right now so that we don't forget anything. But wow, he has asthma. I never would have guessed. Like August said, he's really, really active, but I'm sure he will overcome this. And I guess we should just start getting ready for bed now. I'll go ahead and brush my teeth. I'm going to get a bottle of water. Okay. Hey buddy, are you feeling sleepy yet? You look really tired. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I'm tired. Okay, well, let me go ahead and close these curtains for you. Maybe we can turn off a couple of the lights if we can. Uh, I think we can only turn off the one that's above you, unfortunately. It's kind of loud in here too. Hospitals are so busy, but... I guess we can try our best to get some rest. Your dad and I are gonna brush our teeth and stuff and, and just let us know if you need anything, okay? All this stress has me exhausted. Me too, but I'm just glad everything is fine for now. We love you so, so much, okay? Here. Good night, buddy. All right, I don't wanna make too much noise. Oh, the bathroom is spotless. All right, let me go ahead and brush my teeth. We're gonna try to get some sleep in this noisy hospital and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. We actually didn't have a terrible night's rest, but it absolutely wasn't the best either. I don't know where August is. He could be in the restroom, but Leo is still asleep. The sun is about to come out. It's really, really early, but we did get the okay that we can be discharged from the hospital. So I just wanna make sure everything is ready. I got breakfast. The hospital food doesn't look that bad either. Cause we barely ate anything last night. Thanks. And it smells good too. All right, well, I think we can go ahead and wake Leo up cause he needs to eat something as well. Buddy, good morning. You must be happy to see this breakfast on the table. Here, let me go ahead and grab a portion for you. And it looks like your dad also got some apple juice, apple sauce, and even fruit snacks. Okay, hospital food. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and have some of that coffee. Y'all already know what I like. Well, there's no creamer, but we're at the hospital, so I guess I can't be too picky. Pan 
pancakes. I'm digging into these pancakes. And gummies. Yay. How are the pancakes tasting? Yummy. Well, let me go ahead and try mine since they have the Leo stamp of approval. Oh, you're right. These are really, really good. Can you open my fruit snacks? Of course I can, buddy. Thank you, mommy. Leo, are you excited that you get to go home? Yeah, the doctor said that you can go home this morning. Can we leave right now? Well, uh, we just have to go ahead and make sure everything's packed up. Well, we have had a really crazy night, but thankfully, looks like Leo is gonna be okay. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! But I can't, scared to